How's it going, guys? We have a medium difficulty question for immunology. Nine-year-old girl, three to history, small red spots in her shoulders and chest. She has no past medical history apart from a viral infection a couple weeks ago. Hemoglobin is normal at 14 grams per deciliter. It should be 13 to 17.5 in non-menstruating females and males, 12 to 17.5 menstruating females. Prothrombin time, 12 seconds, should be 10 to 15 seconds. Partial thromboplastin time, 34 seconds, should be 25 to 40 seconds. Bleeding time, elevated nine minutes, should be two to seven minutes. Leukocytes, 8,000 should be 4 to 11,000. Glucose, 88 should be 72 to 99 fasting. So the only thing we have here is what appear to be petechiae following a viral infection with an isolated increase in bleeding time. That's ITP, idiopathic thromocytic panic purpura, aka immune thromocytic panic purpura. That alone is a past level diagnosis. Okay, so PT and PTT both refer to clotting factors. Bleeding time is platelets. So the fact that we have an isolated increase in bleeding time, we only have a platelet issue here. Okay, now ITP, the mechanism is where you get a viral infection, usually in a kid, and then you're going to get the immune system developing antibodies that, against the virus that cross-react with glycoproteins 2B, 3A on platelets for platelet aggregation. Don't confuse the platelet adhesion, which is glycoprotein 1B. So four out of five questions will be a school-age kid with a viral infection. They don't have to mention the viral infection. It's usually a school-age kid. One out of five will be a woman 30s to 40s with random bruising, where she has an elevated bleeding time and a low platelet count. Okay, so those are the high yield presentations for ITP. It's a past level diagnosis. So the question is medium difficulty because we're asking about the immunology, kicked up the difficulty slightly. So let's just hop to the answers. Choice A, Arthur's reaction is wrong. That's a type three hypersensitivity, which is immune complex deposition. That's an injection site reaction that causes erythema within hours to days up to a week following the injection, such as the COVID vaccine Moderna, it was known as Moderna arm. That's Arthur's reaction. Serum sickness, also type 3 sensitivity. That could be, let's say you get an injection, a drug, or uh, immunization, then you get arthritis within a few weeks. Okay, so that's serum sickness. Hepatitis B, C can also cause serum sickness. So those are two difficult diagnoses, or students are like, what do those mean? Arthur's reaction, serum sickness. But those are both, all I want you to know if you're familiar is that those are type 3 sensitivities. They're immune complex depositions. And so serum sickness is arthritis. Arthritis reaction is just a localized injection site reaction with erythema. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, Graves, correct answer. So both ITP and Graves are type 2 hypersensitivities where you have antibodies directed against your own cells, tissues, receptors. Platelets are cells. Okay, so Graves, what's our mechanism? We have TSI thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin, which is going to bind to and activate the TSH receptor, causing hyperthyroidism, high T3, T4, low TSH. So it's a high yield type 2 sensitivity, I know. Same as ITP. I've made questions on heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. That's also type 2. We get antibodies against heparin, platelet factor 4 complex, pernicious anemia, high yield type 2 sensitivity, antibodies against parietal cells, bolus pemphigoid, Pemphigus vulgaris, okay, antibodies against hemidesmosomes, desmosomes respectively, high yield type 2 hypersensitivities, okay. Malarash, choice C is fucking wrong because that's a type 3 hypersensitivity. It's immune complex deposition, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, Roos dermatitis, fancy, wrong, okay. That's the way that we write contact dermatitis due to urshiol, which is the oily substance in poison ivy oak sumac. They'll tell you linear rows of vesicles in a patient who went hiking, let's say, or is gardening. Easy. Okay, so, so type 4 is T-cell mediated. So PPD test of tuberculosis, also type 4. Contact dermatitis, not just Urshiol with roost dermatitis, but nickel from watches. Adhesives, so in hospital, if there's well-demarcated erythema, someone who's had a bandage on, latex, so erythema, vesicles in the hands, and a nurse who recently switched hospitals, someone who's working in an anatomy lab, sunscreen contact dermatitis, erythema vesicles on the dorsa of the hands, arms, face. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, urticaria, is hives, it's wrong, it's type 1 hypersensitivity. It's where you get antigens such as pollen, bee sting, and it's going to bind to the a uh, fab fragment of F of IgE sitting on the mast cells and basophils. 
So the FC region is bound to the mast cells, basophils, fab fragment is sticking off. So when that antigen binds, the IgE come into close proximity and they cross-link and the mast cells, basophils degranulate, release histamine. So that's your mechanism, not just for urticaria slash hives, but also hay fever and uh, eczema, which is AKA atopic dermatitis and also anaphylaxis. Wrong fucking answer.